Hey guys, Leno here. In this tutorial, I'll show how you can make this fantastic stop motion letter effect in Final Cut with this awesome free new plugin called Ransom Notes. You'll save a lot of time and energy with this plugin. We've put a lot of effort into bringing the highest graphics quality and professional looking effects to you. With this plugin, you can create openers for your channel, enhance music videos, add countdowns, use it in social media, and a lot more. It will look amazing in any project. By the way, watch this tutorial until the end so you can get a special coupon code. Later in the video, I'll show all the power behind the paid version with a lot more options and tools. So let's get started with the free version. First, you need to install the plugin by going to lenofx.com and searching for Ransom Notes. Click on the download button. If you don't have an account, create one by filling out the form. Then the download link will be available to you. Next, before installing the plugin, close Final Cut. Open the DMG file. Click on the installer. Hit Next to finish the installation process. Now open Final Cut. Go to the Titles tab and look for LenoFX Ransom Notes free. Here you can see all the alphabet titles available so you can create excellent typography animation to make your videos stand out. Skim with the mouse to preview the letters. As an example, let's create a title. Go to the search box and type L. Drag and drop it into the timeline. As you can see, it's easy to find what you are looking for by using the search box. Next, I'll add all the letters that spell LenoFX, one on top of each other. We can also select the title and press the letter Q to connect at the position of the playhead. Now that we have all the titles in the timeline, we can reposition them. I'll disable some clips with the keyboard shortcut letter V. With one letter selected, we can adjust its size, position and rotation with the on-screen controls in the viewer. Or you can use the transform section in the inspector. I find it easier to use the inspector. Let's play. Now it's a great time to adjust the duration of the elements altogether if you need to. The easiest way to modify the duration of everything is by selecting all of them go to the modify menu and click on change duration or press ctrl d type the duration you want and press enter for example i'll type 600 for six seconds and press enter if you don't want animation disable the in and out animation in the inspector you can also control the other parameters of the animation in this section here we have the page curl on and off and angle Page curl is this effect. You can add a fade in and fade out, animate the scale, the rotation, and the position. When previewing the animation, I like to select the title and use the forward slash key or click on play selection under the view menu, playback, play selection. Let's continue to assemble our letters. I like to use the parameters in the inspector to adjust the size, position and rotation. You can select the parameter, type a number or use the up and down arrow. Another easy way is to hold down the option key and then you can click and drag with the mouse to adjust in small increments. Let's preview. All the letters animate at the same time. To make it more interesting, let's add a two frames offset between them. Select the second letter and press the dot key on your keyboard two times or go to the trim menu and select nudge right. Do the same thing to the following letters. It looks very professional. Now let's select everything and create a compound clip by right clicking on it now you can use the title as one clip. You can do a lot of fun stuff with this clip. Let me show you how. You can move it in the timeline. You can transform it by changing its position, its scale and rotation. You can go to the color board and adjust its brightness, saturation and color grading. Another cool thing is to use the hue and saturation effect in the effects tab to shift all the colors. You can add effects like a drop shadow as well. To go back to the default transformation, 
click on the reset button on the inspector. You can also distort the title to put it in perspective in the scene. You can use the Ken Burns effect in linear mode to create a zoom in and zoom out effect. My favorite is that you can add retiming effects to the compound clip. You can make it two times faster. You can use the blade speed control. Just position the playhead after the in animation. Select blade speed and do the same before the out animation begins. Now you can make it slower or faster. To reset, select reset speed. Also, you can experiment with the default filters in Final Cut. In the stylized category, let's try the crosshatch filter. You can combine numerous effects at once. Now let's go to the page version, which has many options and tools to make your content stand out. Here we have the tools category, backgrounds, all the characters you need to create any words or phrases. Also, we have numbers, special characters, symbols, and so on. In the effects tab, you'll find motion blur effects, transform, and effects tool, and zoom in and out. I'll add one title to the timeline to show you the additional controls you have available. In the letter section, you can use the uppercase or lowercase letters in different styles. In the free version, we have only the uppercase and one style. The all option is to show all the letters style changing in time. Very cool. You can change the shake and page curl intensity. Now let's create something from scratch. I'll be showing you how to make the intro animation of this video. Let's place the background 01. Disable its animation. Apply the transform effect to enhance the contrast. Next, we'll put the background and customize the colors. Disable the animation. Let's create the words Ransom Notes. Use the drop shadow in some words to create some depth. Fast forward and we are done. Create a compound clip for each word. And then one for both, so we can modify them as one clip. Apply the transform effects to reposition it, enhance its color, and set the drop shadow. I'll cut the title and put it at the beginning of the timeline. These are the photos we are going to use, but I want the titles on top. Now I'll make it smaller and cut it to create dynamic effects. To give it a nice stop motion style, I'll use the stop motion title and place it above all clips. But here we can see one problem, it's moving the background. To solve this, let's create a compound clip, leaving the background outside. All good now. I want the animation more subtle. To give a nice touch, I'll use the texture element and soften it. I don't like the title in the beginning without the animation. I'll press T to use the trim tool to slide the content of the compound. 
Now I see another problem, all the characters appear together. Let's create an offset of, let's say, one frame and some frames between words. I want the animation of the photos even more subtle, just a very nice movement. Now let's export our opener to see the final render. Now I'll give you some tips on how to work faster with this plugin. You can select different clips in the timeline by using the keyboard shortcut command up and down arrow and then customize it in the inspector. You can change the space between all the letters by selecting them and using the exposition in the inspector. Be careful not to extend outside of the viewer, but this only works if you have them in the correct sequence. If you use the transform and effects tool, don't use the transform controls of the compound clip. When adjusting the duration of the elements, don't set the duration too short because the character's movement will be too fast. If you want to end the title earlier, you can perform a straight cut or add a dissolve transition. So that's how you can use the Ransom Notes plugin for Final Cut Pro to create eye-catching titles to your videos. It's a quick and easy way to stylize your edit. As I promised, the coupon code is RANSOM10 to receive a 10% discount. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. And if you like the plugin, consider leaving a review on our site to help other users. Any feedback is welcome so we can release new updates in the future for free. Thanks for watching and have an amazing day.